is a good thing I just sort of habitually don't swear in my LPs because there would have been lots of fun for everyone there and uh, there's some mystery Pokemon there I can't think of what it would be probably I don't know and the boss is Gar Chomp really that's a chip you know what, this thing is sort of fast, sort of strong, <laughs> and its brother is too. Wherever that got sent, all the way down here. Confusion Mist, now this is the better one. I mean, Future Sight isn't that great, but Aurora Beam's better enough to make it work. Oh, thank you for large areas of attack radiuses, area effect radiuses. It's not like I wanted to run through you or anything. Whatever, at least you're weak and I have good defense apparently. I never used Cresselio because it was so boring and pissed me off in Brawl. Actually, I didn't specifically not use it because it pissed me off in Brawl because that was a good time after it. I caught it without much trouble and never used it because it was sort of boring. I mean, it's special move. What is it? Super Sacrifice Damashi. As a, that's a pretty cool concept. I can see how you could use that, incorporate it into competitive teams. But problem is, since I imagine this is Uber, it's not really good to have the Pokemon on your team specifically for suiciding to heal another one. I mean, I don't. I, I actually, it might be good in Uber because there'd be what you're all strong and stuff, and you might want to use a Pokemon twice and like if they weren't preparing for two of them let like their main counter fall because they thought you didn't have other important stuff or I don't know I can see how it could be a feasibly good move I just haven't heard of it being used all that much and I'm not really interested in competitive Pokemoning anyway I'm mostly in I mostly just try to complete a Pokedex which inexplicably I haven't done yet despite the fact I I don't know why I haven't done it yet I think I I don't know why. I'm just lazy and like to think I'm making progress by very slowly training stuff against the Elite Four instead of actually finding things that are hard to find. And yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I didn't care. Mew is better at breaking out anyway. Brick breaking out, that is. Pop. That should have done more damage, but at least it's one of KOing them when they're already severely damaged, of course. Okay, Flareon, Magmar, whatever you want to throw at me, I am willing to accept it. Hitmontop, Hitmonlee, Bastiodon. Okay, well, there's one of the fossils. I didn't catch it, but oh hey, actually, I think these guys always appear in groups, so. Anyway, this time you can become dizzy, you jerk. Okay, you stupid Magnemites. Okay, thank you. Okay, screw that. Never gonna have to bother with that crap again. That's like an ingredient in Dialga or something, but yes, thank you. I did not want that to take longer than it. I mean, I was sort of miffed when I got that opportunity. Oh, hey, a shiny Magnum, Magnum Zone, sparkly, whatever. But I'll take it if it's gonna be thrown at me anyway. Oh, Dragon Guard, that's spiffy. Uh, I wish there was a Larion with those Eevee, but I'll use my amazing Dragon Guard Magnum Zone. I hope. I'm sure a lot of things in here have. Dragon attacks and our benefit. Why are there two groups of Eevee without a single Flareon? But yes, I'm sure that there are lots of dragon type attackers here that are very slow and weak to charge beam. Basically, ideal Magna Zone. Basically, ideal Magna Zone. There's something sad about seeing a poor Magna Zone get poisoned. It just doesn't seem right, you know? So yeah, this is slightly less painful when skipping it, but I wish I had a speedy thing. I mean, I haven't found any speedy things in a long time. And Heatran, I wish you had like Magmars or Flareons or something. Or, I don't know. Anything here would be better than these. I mean, it would make. I guess it would make more sense to have Magnezone, but since they are sort of more, even more common than those things. Or at least it seems like it because they're bigger. Uh, I, I I mean this is a steel type. It's more significant than it's steel and it's fire, right? And I don't understand what Heatran is supposed to be. Is it like a? I think it's a beetle. But why is it called Heatran? I mean I guess it's heat transfer. But why don't you call it Heatle or something? That's a good name. Oh, no. 
Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna call it Heedle from now on, okay? That's a good name, right? It is legitimately a beetle and not just the first thing that I could come up with, right? I still like it, though. There aren't enough fire types in the fourth gen. No, at close combat seems like a good enough idea, and I have lives to spare if it isn't. Okay, fireworks, fireworks, uh, uh, oh well. <sighs> I'm still a bit upset that I spent all that money and I was like, oh my gosh, I got a legendary, except it was the one I just worked too hard to get, even though it only took, what, one truck run through the level, whatever. So yeah, that was all well and good, I'm getting sort of sick of this, uh... Uh, go to title menu. Man, I wish I had more soda. Uh, I'm just gonna head into EX and play around up here. Um, I actually did try this earlier with Ice, but I wasn't really feeling serious with him around for some strange reason. Does this take 10,000 or can I try something? Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. <sighs> okay, so, um,. Yeah, this is... The first Coliseum is easy, it's just the first one from normal mode, except with everything at higher levels, of course. But the big difference here is that you go straight from one into the other. I don't even remember if I recorded that. I did some stuff with Ice that I wasn't recording. I did some stuff with them that I was recording. I don't know which was which. But anyway, yeah, this is, uh... As you can tell from the Pokemon, or should be able to tell, this is the very first battle we ever can interpreted in, that's words, right? But the difference is they're all stronger so they don't die instantly. And the other difference is that in between levels we go back to the lobby, we don't get to exit and party and celebrate. In order to fully win the competition we actually have to beat the first level of the, another uh, ranks first competition thingy. Pretty simple. I mean, all of them are pretty much like that. There's no other twists, but it does make them a decent amount harder, plus the actual harder Pokemon. Ew, dude. Yeah, I mean, this one isn't even going so smoothly, and this is really easy. And luckily, all of them are not so much luckily, because it's sort of a jip on the later levels. But. All of them give you 18,000, that's it, that's all they're going to give you. This one is going to give you just as much as the one with higher level versions of the final S rank. Another advanced mode with Dialga and Palkia and Mewtwo and everything still preserved as far as I know. Punch, punch, punch. I like how I'm pretty sure Dark Clawing is still doing more damage than that or something, I don't know. Why are the legendary or strong opponents here? Not that they're strong so much as just un irrationally rare. Considering, I mean, Eevee isn't that freaking rare. After a second gen, you could just breed them and it wasn't like a special thing anymore. But no, to make up for that, it's just random party time with the Eeveelutions being near impossible to find. I'm not sure what's so party time about that, but it clearly is some kind of party time. And by the way, a clarification, a lot of people have been sending me, um, codes. I do not want codes, the only code I used I found on the Pokemon website. I think I already addressed this, but yeah, I'm actually sort of hoping they come out with more soon, because I want the Giratina's origin form, which I'm pretty sure is only obtainable through there. I think lives get healed in between matches, you just have to... Maybe they don't. Or maybe Pokemon don't. I think I recalled something getting healed, maybe just Pokemon. But either way, I mean, I should have been able to do this, I just got sloppy. Quit using Pokemon that were really good so much as... on the top of the list, really. But, I mean, at this point, they're not going to take away my money if I lose. I'm just gonna take away my victory and stuff, I think. I don't know, it might take away the money, but I don't think it does. And yep, your lives get replenished, but... Oh, your Pokemon don't get replenished, your lives do. But you can totally switch out here if you're so inclined, which I am so inclined, because this Garchomp is probably better than that right here, and it definitely has better moves. 
Anyway, yep, it's the Rotom party instead of the Eevee party. Those two are suspiciously related on the basis that you trade Eevees for Rotoms, or Eevees and Rotoms for more Rotoms that are more interesting than the Eevee or Rotom that was put into a, or something, I don't know. 